So I was expecting uh, like a really sort of dull, misty atmosphere when I got here. The, uh, the drive on the way up was, it was foggy, it was raining, and that's what I wanted really. I wanted to have that sort of misty, cloudy, uh, dull situation really to be honest and I didn't want anyone anyone around as well and normally on days like that you don't get as many people visiting these type of places and I don't think as many people actually uh, come to this actual site um, it's a bit of a I don't know about half a mile three quarters of a mile walk uh, through the fields uh, to get here and it's the uh, it's the remains of the old Roman bridge that's that was built here they estimate around about 160 AD so almost 2,000 years old and the, um, what I'm sitting on now is all the uh, the remaining sort of stones that uh, helped build the bridge I believe the bridge was washed away in a flood at some point and obviously never rebuilt there's, there's a, a bridge that was built later on further on uh, down towards uh, Cholliford there and uh, across the river from where I'm sitting now was uh, the other side, the, the, abut the abutments for the other side and that was hidden for many years uh, the guy who owned the land uh, wanted to landscape everything and it was just basically a lovely grass riverbank and all of that was hidden but it was uh, excavated and revealed and now it's like part of the um, the visitor centre, you know, to the whole sort of Roman remains here. Uh, but I've, I've always found this a really nice spot to come to, you know.